Okay, <clears throat> here's another mixture problem. And uh, this one is antifreeze in your car radiator. So we're going to see how we can save some money. M a lot of things on your car you can do yourself rather than take to uh, a mechanic. But let's see how we can uh, save some money and use our education at the same time. Your car is in a mechanic shop getting work done. And the mechanic lets you know your car is ready for pickup. While on the phone, he tells you that your radiator does not contain the correct percent of antifreeze. He says your five-gallon radiator is supposed to contain a 50% antifreeze solution, but when it was tested, it was found to have only 40% antifreeze. He says for $30, it will drain and replace with the correct amount of antifreeze. Okay, so if you do this work yourself to save $30, how much must you drain out of the radiator and replace with pure antifreeze so that the radiator will then contain the desired 50% antifreeze solution? Okay, let's see how we would approach this problem to save $30 and how much money we would save. Okay, here's the problem. Pure antifreeze. Your 5-gallon radiator is supposed to contain a 50% antifreeze solution. But when tested, it was found to have only 40% antifreeze. How much do you drain out and replace with pure antifreeze? Okay, so this is a word problem. And like before, we're going to attempt to solve it. Okay, this time when we use boxes because it's easier. Okay, we label these boxes car radiator minus the drain out plus add antifreeze equals radiator mixture. And you'll notice that... These boxes represent our problem here, our word problem. This is what the word problem is telling us what to do. And that's why it's so good to draw boxes, because it puts out in pictures what we intend to do. Okay, so let's label our boxes. Okay. Our car radiator contains 40% mixture. Okay. Minus we're going to drain out 40%, because that's what's in there. Plus, we're going to add antifreeze, which is 100% antifreeze. And that will give us a mixture, a radiator mixture of 50%. Okay. So, how much are we going to drain out? Well, our car radiator right here contains 5 gallons. Okay. We're going to drain out X gallons because we don't know how much we're supposed to drain out of this 40%. Plus, we're going to add X gallons of 100% antifreeze. And that's going to give us 5 gallons of 50% solution, okay, of the mixture. Now that we got our boxes set up, all we got to do is multiply, okay? So let's solve the problem. We have 40%, that's 0 0.4 times 5, minus 0 0.4 times X gallons. Plus 100% change to decimal is 1 times gallons equals 50% times 5. 50% is 0.5 times 5, okay? And 0 0.4 times 5 is 2 minus 0 0.4 X gallons plus X gallons, 1 times X gallons is X gallons, is equal to 0.5 times 5, which is 2.5. Okay, and now we get our x's on one side and our constants on the other. Okay, we move the 2 across the equal sign to the other side and change the sign to minus. Then we have minus 0 0.4 x gallons plus x gallons equals 2.5 minus 2. And we do those calculations and we get 0 0.6 x gallons equals 0 0.5. Divide both sides by 6, 0 0.6, and we get 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.6, and therefore x is 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.6, x equals 5, 6 gallons to drain and add, okay? Because x is both located in both places. So, what we do is 5, 6 gallons is almost 1 gallon, 6, 6 gallons is 1 gallon. So, drain out one gallon, then add one gallon of antifreeze. One gallon of antifreeze costs $16, approximately. To do this job takes about 45 minutes. 
So you save 30 minus 16 is 14 dollars. Therefore, take yourself out to lunch. You did a good job. Until next time, I hope you learned something.